Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Virgo watching this video. If you do need a passive reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Nice. Yeah, someone here who's finally balancing their emotions, ready to talk about how much they love you. This person loves you a lot, all right? They do. But they're just probably someone who doesn't like to show their emotions, not in a bad way. But they balance their emotions, okay? They have their head and heart in balance. So yeah, someone very balanced, very mature. Someone who's emotionally very, very mature. Someone who's there for you. Very intuitive. But a very compassionate partner, okay? Could be someone like this who's coming towards you. <clears throat> Tell me more. Who's coming towards you? Go in love, please. Someone who has trust issues, but looks like they're opening up now. <clears throat> probably there's a situation here where I think probably there's no communication between you guys. <coughs> or you just think there are a lot of things hidden, okay? The moon is secrets, hidden agenda, having no clue of where things are going. But I guess everything's under wraps right now. Okay, everything's under the dark and there's just no clarity right now. Probably could be the king of cups who loves you very much, okay, but he's suppressing his emotions. But with the moon here, there is this feeling of that unknown energy. A lot of stress, fear and anxiety around this situation, okay. So someone needs to make a decision. <coughs> the two of swords are stressed. Stress, stressful decisions to do that kind of talk. Someone needs to choose between two paths or just make a decision. But this decision is more like a break or make situation, okay? Make or break situation, but it's tough. So there's someone here who's choosing to ignore the reality and live in denial. And I think it's because with the moon here, right? There's one of you who's living in their illusions, their belief systems. The mood is nothing to do with reality, okay? It's all our beliefs. It's the way we view the other person. We view the situation. And whatever we bring to the table, our thoughts, okay? All these thoughts have nothing to do with the facts or logic. This is all to do with your past experiences with the person that you're dealing with, okay? So probably this is how you're looking at a situation because you just don't know what's going on with this person. But they do love you, okay? If you're in two minds, they do love you. But it's your fears okay about this person fear of the unknown you just don't know you probably are very indecisive you know that's why probably you're blocking this person out and you don't know what to think about this person but they do love you i mean you're the one who's in two minds but yeah the eight of pentacles this person wants to work things out with you maybe they were not working on this before <clears throat> there could have been some boredom <coughs> but eight of pentacles is wanting to work on the situation okay wanting to put in the effort and trying to it's mastering your art right so which means that they're going to focus on every small detail in the relationship and make things work out and with the two of cups here you have a relationship coming in the two of cups is can you guys see i hope you guys yeah the two of cups is basically two people on the same page right there's a lot of love here but again <laughs> it could be that the two of cups this is more like an emotional more like that uh, fairy tale right so yeah there is a lot of romance here but this romance is more like um how do i say it? the love is there it's there but it's more like is it for real and probably that's something that you constantly think about yourself or think about this relationship is this for real is it too good to be true because here there is a balance here okay they're coming in to bring this balance here and by putting in the effort but you're not sure because you probably feel that this is a relationship that is too good to be true you, you feel probably it's not based on uh, reality okay so that's one thing probably which you're not sure about okay that's why the moon here and that's why not being able to make a decision you're probably like blocking this person out you know like flat out like you don't want to listen to what they have to say you don't even want to look in them okay you just want to don't want to accept the reality <coughs> you have a decision to make whether you want this person or not but for right now it looks like you're ignoring this person because this person is coming in with that balance energy but yeah there is a lot of love between you guys okay the emotional love the emotional support 
balance, equality. It's there. You guys are on the same page. But you're the one who's living in denial and not wanting to accept the truth for what it is. <coughs> the hermit. I think you need some time alone. This person's coming towards you, but I think with the hermit here, you need some time alone to contemplate on the situation. I think you've pulled back. Like I said before, right, with the moon here, I think there's this no communication mode. You need some time off. You want to think about the situation. A lot of self-introspection. I think you want solitude, not loneliness. Don't, don't be um, confused with that. I'm, ask, I'm saying that you are happy in your place right now, where you are. Even if you're away from this person, you're probably in your own zone. You know, I'm not saying you're not socializing. I'm not saying loneliness. I'm saying you're okay without this person right now, but more than anything, you want to give this a very, very strong thought, okay? This is someone who's wanting to know how to move forward, and that's you probably. Once this person has got that shit together, finally, you're someone, you know, this is a very wise person. So yeah, I do treat you as someone very, very wise. Anyways, this is you, Virgo, so. But um, you need some time out, all right? You need a break, and you want to think about where this is going, okay? Or whether you want to still invest into this or not. But they want to for sure. Tell me more. That's a lot of contemplation, right? Tell me more about Virgo. Eight of Swords at reverse here. Whoever was trapped in their head. <coughs> Not the Four of Wands, yeah. So I feel Virgo that this could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with, but one of you feels more like you if not it's them but one of you was living in their head more paralyzed by fear okay probably you think there were negative patterns being um you know uh, repeated over and over again but this is you who was living in your head not wanting to release yourself you probably thought you just cannot get out of this situation or nothing good is going to come out of this situation okay that's a lot of worry a lot of stress which could be uh, hampering your mental health also but i think you're releasing yourself from this situation okay and finally you will be seeing things uh, for what they are you'll get out of your head for sure you'll get into your senses Probably after this isolation, after this ghosting. <clears throat> two of Wands here, yeah. Say Two of Swords, Two of Wands. You need mental clarity. And I think till you don't get that mental clarity, you're going to be in this Two of Wands energy. You're not going to be able to decide. Someone needs to make a decision. And Two of Wands is an energy where you can be there, stuck and stagnant, for a very long time, all right? And you can keep someone at a crossroads forever. The person's not gonna wait for you forever, okay? So open your eyes, get rid of that blindfold here with the Eight of Swords in reverse here, probably which I feel you're doing, but see things for what they are. It could also mean the other way that there's one person here who's very blocked and not wanting to see things. Maybe you both were and a, the other person here is ready to flip the cards and ready to see things for what they are, okay? Two of Swords is a stalemate energy, right? So I guess one of you is ready to come, you know, and make this connection work with the Eight of Pentacles and Two of Cups here. But there's the other person here with the Moon and the Two of Swords here, right? And the Two of Wands here who's still in that energy of, I don't know what to do about this. Two of Swords is also blocking someone out, no communication. I'm not even ready to listen to someone else. That's very stubborn energy. The magician yeah look there is an opportunity for you to make things work out all right the magician is someone who's hell-bent on making things <laughs> so the magician right you have everything you need to succeed and make things work out okay but anything can be achieved once you think things out clearly and make a more realistic and workable plan all right you're at the brink of great things happening in your relationship. This is golden opportunities. But you're going to have to be very, very ambitious and very determined, all right, to make it happen. That's for sure. There's ability and there's capability. Maybe you have the ability, but the capability is when the action comes in. 
I mean, you can take the horse to the water, right? But you can't make it drink it. So that's what I'm trying to say. Tell me more. Nice. Nice. See, like I said, that's a gift from the universe. Something's coming in, something solid, something tangible, something very secure, something that's going to make you feel very secure and safe. The opportunity is there, the, uh, the willingness is there, the determination is there, okay? So this looks like this is the other person who's coming in with this. The only problem I see on your side, Virgo, is that you're living in your illusions. You're very much in your space right now. This person's finally released themselves from any self-limiting beliefs that they have, okay? You're the one here with the two of wands, two of swords, and the hermit here who's wanting to do a lot of thinking before you take this person back. What I need you to ask yourself is that whatever your illusions are, whatever your belief system is, and on whatever basis you're trying to block this person out, is it on some fact? Is it on some reality-based uh, thinking? Or is it just your thoughts of fear that is holding you back from giving this person another chance? That's all I'd like to ask you. <clears throat> Give me the likely outcome for Virgo this week. What is the likely outcome for Virgo this week? What is the likely outcome? The strength here. You're holding back. So that's what I'm saying. You're trying to tame the situation. Instead of giving into it, you're like, no, nope, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to put in all my effort and I'm going to just stay back as much as I can. <clears throat> the strength is a lot of resistance. A lot of resistance. All the resistance that you're putting in to stay away from this person, okay, you. this is more like I can and I will, okay, you're finding that inner strength to stay away from this person as much as you can, all right, you try to probably be bold, very brave outwardly, but probably within yourself, you're lacking that confidence, okay, you're being very fearful, probably even low self-esteem, okay, so you need to get that inner strength within you of wanting to make this work out and make, and like I can make this work out, okay. It's like you need to put your inner strength to the test. It's being tested right now, you know. It's asking you to calm down and not just react to a situation. Like no matter what is going on, no matter how dreadful the situation may be, okay, you need to understand that you have the inner strength at your disposal to handle the situation and to survive through it. Like feel the fear. You're very fearful right now with the moon here, okay. But... I guess you're feeling the fear, but you're still not doing it. You still have your doubts about this. And you don't have that courage, okay? So, that's something you need to do. But I think you're still holding back. Give me one more card. <clears throat> you don't trust this person. You feel this person has some hidden agenda. Something's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. It's like that. But again, I feel there's a lack of information here. Something that you don't know or there's been misunderstanding or miscommunication. See, Ace of Cups in reverse here. You're shut down towards this person. <clears throat> there has been a situation which is very disappointing. Okay, you probably saw a lot of potential with this person once, okay? But you're hurt. You're sad. You're upset. And now... And now you're not ready to be vulnerable to them. Whilst they're coming towards you with this, with all this love... You're the one who's shut off and holding back, okay? So there's a lot of resistance. Regardless, I don't see communication coming in as yet. But I do see that this offer of love is coming in, okay? But you're showing a lot of resistance because you're not letting it unfold, okay? You're, you have a lot of resistance, okay? And probably you're manifesting this person. But how can you manifest someone when you have that resistance, right? You have to let it flow. You're trying to find answers. You probably want a guarantee. You probably feel this is a very risky relationship. But it's like you don't always have to know everything, okay? If you remove that blindfold, probably there's a lot more that you'll see and your fear won't hold you back. You need to make the decision first of all, like, you know, whether you want to work on this or not. Here, you're literally at a crossroads and you're putting this person on hold is what I'm getting, okay? Or even when this person comes and approaches you, you're more like keeping them at arm's length. 
look, I don't want to talk about this. You, you're not releasing this person and you're not being with them. That's what I'm getting here. And by the end of the time, you're not even wanting to talk, not wanting to be vulnerable, not wanting to express. And you're just trying to tame the situation. You're just trying to hold back and trying to put in your everything in order to uh, control the situation. But that kind of control can become dominance after a while. So just make sure you're not doing that. Yeah, you need to put your doubts aside. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.